Hello, I'm Mary Quick. Welcome to our beautiful farm. My family have been farming here for 470 years and here are lovely cows eating some gorgeous dev grass to make some wonderful cheese. So what makes Quick's cheese so special is that first of all we use the milk from grazed grass and that takes um, this breed that we've created which is just works to make the perfect cheese for us and it's a Frisian cross Swedish red cross Montbelliard breed and it creates this gorgeous buttery flavour and also the fact that they're grazing outside all the time gives just a lovely complexity to the flavour. I'm the only woman cheesemaker of the traditional cheddars and I think what that gives is women have got uh, palettes that prize subtlety and complexity and so I think that's what we've got. We've got this subtlety and complexity and, and balance and length of flavour and I think the boys want a flavour that hits you between the eyes whereas I want something that allures and seduces you. been made on the farm here at Newton St Sires for generations and it was my mother who built the current cheese dairy here in the 70s and I'm incredibly proud that we're carrying on these wonderful traditions of making traditional cheddar here on the farm. Well, we start off with the milk, we milk the cows twice a day they come in from the pasture, we milk them, produce beautiful clean milk. Milk goes over to the cheese dairy. We use traditional starters and these are collected from the best cheese dairies in the 60s and 70s. And they're, they've again got complexity and balance and length of flavour. Then we put that starter in, the milk is acidifying, then we add rennet and that rennet sets the whole vat of milk like a milk jelly. We then cut it um, and then we start taking the, the whey starts dropping out so like curds and whey with Little Miss Muffet and we stir it on and it's acidifying and it's getting more and more more and more like cottage cheese and then we drain the whey off because cheese is a solid and milk is a liquid so we drain the way off, that leaves you with the solid curd. We then start this magical process called cheddaring. And cheddar's made all over the world, but actually only if you make it on our kind of scale do you cheddar, which is cutting it and then turning those blocks of cheese um, gently to, so that it, it, that creates the specific texture of traditional cheddar. Then when that's all at the right acidity, when it's got the texture of a cooked chicken breast, we then put it through the mill uh, and add salt, which is to bring more moisture out and to stop the acidity developing any faster. And then we put it in the, the, curd, the salted curd, let that salt go in, let it temper, then we put it into the cheese moulds uh, inside the cloths, press it up for three days, put it in a finer and finer cheesecloth each day uh, and brine it and, and dress it in the cheesecloth and then, then it's ready to put into the store for its long maturing time. Tasting cheese. So, this cheese has come straight out of the fridge, so it's quite cold. It's always good to let cheese warm up because you've got all those all those lovely volatiles. What cheese makers do to to warm it up is uh, you move it around in your hands like this, and it actually gives you all sorts of indications about how the cheese will be. Tasting the cheese. The first thing that comes through, you know, roll it round your mouth, let the flavours speak to you. The first thing you get is this real balanced creaminess. And that tells the story about the cows out to pasture, the grazed grass. Then 
it's really, really balanced and then it starts unfolding. This beautifully complex flavour unfolds on your, on your tongue. Uh, somebody described it as a palier of flavour, a grand staircase of flavour that goes on and on and on. It's like a 10 mile cheese, you can get, you'd still be driving 10 miles down the road and there was, it would still be telling you the story. That's the thing about tasting cheese, give yourself that privilege and pleasure of tasting it, allowing it to speak to you. You can get to be present, you can have these lovely flavours, you can get that whole depth of story about where the cheese comes from.